At least we are done now. And at least there are not really a whole lot of enemies. Which is kind of nice. Um, welcome to the machine. Don't you dare jump off there. Raziel. Anyway, welcome to the machine room. I'm not sure if there's anything of worth up there. But I might as well look while I'm here. Nope, doesn't seem like anything's there. In that case, we might as well jump down. Now the machine room is gonna be important later. Let's see here. Will you get over the freaking cable already? That's the gas on switch. Don't know what kind of gas it is, but it's gaseous, so it's a gas. And that's the ignition. How you open a door. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. If I'm not quite mistaken, that's the exact same door we saw on the other side of that long, long hallway. Yeah, that's definitely that hallway. So, since that will lead us back to where we came from, let's have a wander around through that door up there. A block. Blocks are nice. Oh yeah. So where about are we? Ah, we are back at the entrance, essentially. Except now we have more blocks available than before. Which means we can get to greater heights. Oh yeah. I know, it's awesome. I think it's awesome as well. Stack them on top of each other. No, I want to know if there's anything up on there I missed. And that's why I'm gonna check there first. Although I don't think there's a whole lot there at all. Oh well. We'll see that soon enough, I think. Push the blocks, Raziel, push the blocks! Nope. It's just a dead end. I'm pretty sure there are um, big mana things that refill a lot of your magical energy. But, well, we don't exactly have any magic yet. That's not until I go on my item collection spree later. Well, in one of the next episodes, actually. Then again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna show the item collection before or after the end of the game. I might just make it all bonus episodes. So there's that. Also to get through this room, we need to switch between material and spectral world quite a lot. Quite a lot. Is it worth it? Well, that's up to you to decide, really. It kinda is since we, well, need to do it to get to the other side of that big gate we saw down there. Considering that this is the final dungeon which we are going to get an upgrade, 
There should be more enemies, really. It's a little bit not so exciting without them. Although I can't say I'm missing them a whole lot. Well, fell down. Um, I wanted to check out what's through that path, though. Oh, can I get back up at all? Actually, I believe that path is just a way back in case you do fall down. Wraith, don't care. No, let me be, you foul beast! Now come into my belly. Dick. Hmm, well, there's a block here, certainly, that's a thing. There's enemies there, and... Oh, hey! Go guess... Uh, take my guess where this leads. Straight back to the bridge. Oh yeah. You know what? I know for certain that there's a portal over here. So I'm gonna take that. <clears throat> I don't necessarily need to chance the... Whether or not there's a portal on the other side of this hallway. So... Yeah. Um. That's a light. No, Raziel. This way. There's some light coming in from above. And with this machine, also called a block. Yes, hello. We should be able to get up there and to that obelisk because obelisks are nice. Also, fire river. And then there were none. I almost feel sorry for them. Not. <laughs> and can I make this jump? I don't think I can. But the joke is that we go through the spectral realm anyway. Fortunately, there are so many portals around. It's kind of a joke, actually. So, now we are in the physical realm. And we can jump right over to the obelisk. Spoilers, there are no portals in here. We kind of needed to do that to open that gate over there. So, now that we've come this far, I'd like to get my bearings. That's because the boss is right ahead and we are... We can't do a whole lot in this room yet. We need the upgrade from the boss before we can. Um, yeah, I think I know where to go. Okay. Um, the boss doesn't exactly have a boss arena. Let's put it that way. <laughs> kind of a novelty boss and quite unique, I dare say. My brother Dumas, a powerful warrior in life, he would have burned with shame to have me find him here like a stuck pig. Well, well. <clears throat> He's been here for a couple hundred years, I think. Oh well. Let's pull out the stakes. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if you do. Unbound 
last. I thank you, brother. Your thanks are premature, Dumas. I have not forgotten whose hands bore me into the abyss. The centuries in limbo have honed my strength. Not even Cain is my equal. Even the strongest vampire is vulnerable. We shall test your thesis, Raziel. My bloodthirst has been superseded by an even darker hunger. I will consume your soul before this day is done. Um, throw that thing away. Now be careful with this guy, or he will run circles around you, quite literally. Like so. You do not want that to happen. Oh, come on, stop that. No, Raziel. We need this guy to follow us. Follow me! No, 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 Raziel, you fool. Em? This way, Raziel. This way, Duma, come on. That was nice. No, no, wait, this is the wrong way, this is the wrong way. Um, this way. Follow me, Duma! Oh, snap. running away from this guy for quite a while at quite a distance don't forget to jump and he does the other earthquakes and keep an eye on him <laughs> so this is where we want to go ho 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 but I'm just gonna assume as long as I hear his footsteps He's behind me. So, and we are back at the engine room. Well then. Jump, Raziel. Jump! No, 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 no. Bad, Duma. Bad. Turn on the gas. And let's just hope he's dumb enough to wander down there. That was lucky. Haha. And with that, we have murdered almost all our brothers. Except for Turel, who kind of isn't here. Maybe he had some more important business elsewhere. Consuming Duma's soul empowers you to wind a constricting band of spectral energy around your enemies. This energy manifests itself in both the spectral and material realms. And in the physical world, it can be employed to manipulate otherwise immovable objects. Long story short, we can now run circles around our enemies. And activate switches. Why won't it appear? Oh well, you know what? Save, because I don't want it to crash on me again. Maybe I should have saved over the other file. But, oh well, too late. Um. Well, that way is as good as any. 
so back to the beard statue we go and then we will never have to enter this dungeon again over here it's right next to the boss room there's the obelisk let's hope i can pull this thing off circle object to constrict ah yeah now we can finally push these weird switches sneezing in let's plays for quite a while now so come on here buddy Give me your soul, it better be good. Good enough for me. Okay, magic restore point. Um, don't know what the point in that is. I mean, seriously, the magic res restore points are more useless than anything in this game. Oh well. So, what's behind door number two? More death. Okay, there's a dude, and there's a dude, and they are both two hell dudes. gonna refill our health is it yes it is because we get an upgrade oh yeah finally we got more life energy yeah it took us a while to get five pieces but oh well at least we have more life now and we are gonna have even more life before the final dungeon um Okay, you stay there while I charge up my Reaper. Yes, very nice. Now if I recall correctly, there should be a magic power upgrade here. It just isn't here because we don't have any magic at all. Maybe I should have gotten at least one spell by now. Oh well. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play this game. Legacy of Cain, so Reaver. Next time, I guess we are gonna start on our item hunt. Yeah. Don't expect me to get all of the magic upgrades. For example, I'm not gonna go back here and get that one, if it appears afterwards. I think I'm gonna go for spells first. Yeah. Oh well, whatever is on the way, is on the way. 
This is Linion, and fairly well.